Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NASCAR 21. We are back, and I have decided I am not doing Talladega, and, for the, and there's one reason. We are going to do the All-Star Race. All right? Here we go. So, we're going to be here at Texas. We're going to do as if it was a normal race, but we will, you know, s stop every so often to, you know, simulate the rounds. Now, I don't know really how we're supposed to do the open because, you know, but we can still do it anyways. We'll, we'll race for two laps, the winner of the open. I'll find a way to get them into the race. Anyways, the drivers are on pit lane, and the drivers that will be competing in the open for a chance to win a million dollars at the full all-star race will be as follows. The drivers competing in the open are Chris Buescher, Tyler Reddick, Eric Almarola, Eric Jones, Bubba Wallace, Anthony Alfredo, and here, I'll look at the rest of them. We were off at Anthony Alfredo. We also have John Hunter Nemechek, Bubba Wallace, Chase Briscoe, Daniel Suarez, um, Ross Chastain, Corey LaJoy, Josh Balicki, Austin Sindrick, or not Austin Sindrick, this is Austin Sindrick, this is Anthony Alfredo, Stenhouse, Justin Haley, Quinn Houff, Cody Ware, uh, Joey Gase, uh, Garrett Smithley, Timmy Hill, BJ McClude, and Ryan Newman. We'll be here for, t actually, we'll be here for eight laps, stopping every two laps, but we won't count them. And whoever, um, is in the lead as we stop them will be pushed ahead and will win for that round and we'll move on. All right, here we go. For the first two laps, Chris Buescher takes the lead, but Tyler Red is gonna make a move up the inside of Chris Buescher, but, and Bubba Wallace also making a move. Who will take it as they come onto the back stretch of the first lap of the open? Tyler Reddick is holding that lead as Bubba Wallace behind him. They're all down to the inside. In last is uh, Daniel Hemrick and his teammate of Harrison Burton jumps to the outside as we enter lap two of stage one in the open. Will Tyler Reddick hold off Bubba Wallace and move on to the all-star race? So let's see. We're not actually going to have anyone move on. We'll just say, now that I think about it, no one will move on. Just the winner of each round will win a certain cash prize or will earn themselves 10 extra points. And it's gonna be Tyler Riddick winning their ten, the 10 extra points in round one. Tyler Riddick wins that first round as we have to get him off track so he doesn't, you know, do it again or get him way ahead or down pit lane or something, I don't know. Tyler Riddick wins 10 points for himself before in the open. Sorry, give me a second. Tyler Reddick. Reddick won the first 10 points. As here we go. We're back under green for the next two laps. As we enter lap three. In the lead is Daniel Hemrick. Daniel Hemrick in the lead, but he's passed shortly by Ryan Newman and Joey Gase. Quinn Howe falls is trying to make a move. Who will take the next 10 points towards there? As here we go. In the lead is Garrett Smithley. As we enter lap four, the final lap of stage two in the open. As Joey Gase makes a move up the inside. Joey Gase to the inside. Will Joey Gase keep that lead as they come around? For the final time, here they come on stage two. 
two. They're in the final lap of stage two, lap four of the race, and it's gonna be Joey Gase winning the ten points as well, as we will push him ahead. Oh, geez, that's not what I said. I said ahead. All right, Joey Gase is our second winner. I'll put that down. All right, let's see. As we enter Here we go. Here we go. For round three, with two more, we enter lap four of or lap five of the open. Quinn Alf takes that takes that flag. Tyler Reddick will still be racing in a huge um break apart in the pack as BJ McClude takes the lead with Timmy Hill right behind him, who will take the ten extra points towards their their season. This is not, this is a points race as I don't know really how to simulate people moving on. As we enter the second lap of round three, which is lap six. <sighs> Will BJ McClude keep it? BJ McClude is, oh, Timmy Hill slides under him as we enter the second lap. Timmy Hill slided underneath him. We're in lap six. Timmy Hill is going to take it. He has to hold off BJ. And it's going to be Timmy Hill winning round three. Timmy Hill as, ouch, that's not what I wanted. I wanted Timmy Hill to go ahead. Timmy Hill wins round three of the Open. You know what? Joey Gase and the 10 points extra will go to Hill, Timmy Hill. Now we're going to make it so that it's possible that someone could win it a second time. Reddick clearly won't. As here comes Joey Gase, now we have to wait for Timmy Hill. As there he is. Here we go, the final stage. And the green flag is in the air for the final stage. B Ma BJ McClude in the lead for this final stage. Because here they come on to turn one with a huge run. Chase Briscoe to the lead, lead of, stage of stage four. But Harrison Burton, rookie, is right behind him. Who will take it? It's going to be Chase Briscoe holding it. Last is Bubba Wallace. Chase Briscoe holding it as a slide on the outside. Corey LaJoy as we enter the final lap of the Open and the final lap of the, of stage four. Chase Briscoe is on the outside. Chase Briscoe to the lead. They're five wide behind them. It's going to be Chase Briscoe. He has to hold them off for one last lap. For just one last lap. Here they come. Here's the bird tries to make a move, but it's going to be Chase Briscoe winning those extra points. Chase Briscoe, Tyler Reddick, Joey Gase, and Timmy Hill all will win 10 extra points. As now the Open is over, we're going to start the actual All-Star Race. Which, since, you know, it would be kind of weird to just, you know, give them points or to just simulate the all-star race but not give them anything the winner of the all-star race will earn themselves for um this will be a normal points race but the winner of the all-star race will get 20 extra points which could be big for someone who is behind now is our now we're going to be here for 20 laps no stages and the drivers are pacing. Kyle Larson is first in points, so we are, 
and, but he, we're going to say he failed inspection because we don't want to make it so that if Larson wins, he gets a giant jump in points. So Larson fails inspection, putting him into last. So he'll have to fight for those 40 points. Which in real life, it would be a million dollars, but, you know, that would be too complicated. So as Kyle Larson heads through to get to the back of the pack, because he would be in front. Let's see the starting lineup of the All-Star Race. Row one is Cole Custer, William Byron, and Kyle Busch. Austin Dillon, Truex, and Elliott. And the row behind them is Kevin Harvick, Brad Kozlowski in that six, and Michael McDowell. All right, we will be here for 20 laps, or 25 laps. No pit stops, because the car can last for that long. Here we go. The green flag is in the air for the all-star race. Christopher Bell already falling to the back of the pack. Austin Dillon making a move up. Cole Custer's inside, but a huge run for Michael McDowell. Michael McDowell is going to take the lead from all of them, putting himself at a chance of jumping in points. Michael McDowell still up in first as we are coming around turn four into lap two. As we enter lap two, Michael McDowell is leading. As we're... Oh, to the inside goes Cole Custer. He's going to make some passes. He's going to make a lot of passes, actually. As Kurt Busch will... Or Brandon Jones will nearly take the lead of the All-Star race. But Michael McDowell holds it. As Truex on the outside of Brandon Jones gets shoved around, but he makes the pass. Truex in his last season. Can he pull something off as we enter lap three? Michael McDowell still leading. Ross Chastain now in last. N Newman right there. Reddick won our 10 extra points in the open. Michael McDowell still leading as we come off the back stretch of lap four. Truex trying to make something happen today in his last season. Oh, huge crash for Ross Chastain as the... The caution will come out. Huge hit for Chastain. He was into Kyle Busch as they're racing back to the line. Michael McDowell is still in the lead by a short while, but Chastain, even after his crash, actually, we're going to say Chastain is now going down pit lane, all right? Or he's going to have to go to the back of the field because he kind of jumped everybody when he crashed. All right, let's see our starting lineup. I hope Chastain is okay after that race. But let's see our lineup. Michael McDowell, Brandon Jones, Kyle Busch in row one. Brad Kozlowski, Denny Hamlin, and Truex in row three. And Logano, Austin Dillon, and Cole Custer in row four. Or in row three. This is hyping me up because someone might get a huge lead in points. But that doesn't matter because they might not win. As here we go. Michael McDowell is in the lead as we exit the pit, the restart box. But he opens up the inside. No, he does not. He goes down to block Cole Custer. As onto the back stretch, they go huge lead for Michael McDowell as they're on lap six. They paced for lap five. Here they go. Michael McDowell still in lead. Cole Custer second. Daddy Hamlet third. But Michael McDowell gets pushed backwards to Cole Custer as we enter lap seven of 25 here in the All Star Texas race. To the inside goes Austin Dillon and. And Matt Benedetto is five wide. Austin Dillon making a huge run for his money as they enter the back stretch of lap eight. Michael McDowell still in the lead. Cole Custer not far behind. Here we go. They're off turn four for the eighth time. They're into lap nine. And I am talking so quickly because this is exciting. Cole Custer is coming up on Michael McDowell. Denny Hamlin is making a move on Cole Custer and Michael McDowell. Michael McDowell holds the lead on the back stretch of lap nine. But Denny Hamlin makes a pass on Cole Custer. He might have a chance. Newman is make er Larson is making up his time. He is now up to fifth. 
Hendrick in a one to three order as Michael McDowell leads them into lap 10. He's led this whole race. Tyler Reddick super far back is here they come. Michael McDowell leading but Denny Hamlin up the inside. Denny Hamlin takes that lead. Coming in a lap 11 but he holds the outside. That just gave Michael McDowell the chance to take back the lead. Who will take it? It's going to be Michael McDowell taking back the lead. Denny Hamlin falls behind Michael McDowell. He nearly falls behind Cole Custer. William Byron passed Cole Custer at the end of lap 12. Jeez, I'm talking fast, but this is exciting. Huge points on huge points on the line. Denny Hamlin back to the inside of Michael McDowell. Michael McDowell also loses second to William Byron. Michael McDowell all the way down to third now. But he slams William Byron quite a bit, and he now is in second. Bowman is the worst performing out of Hendrick this this race as they enter lap 13. Chase Elliott, huge run to the inside. Michael McDowell and Chase Elliott both make a move on Denny Hamlin, but Michael McDowell keeps second as Chase Elliott with that huge run on the inside makes it to first of the All-Star on lap 13 on the back stretch. Austin Dillon uh, was on the outside. They're kind of bouncing around as they enter lap 14 with, a, with about 12 to go. Elliott still holding the lead, but William Byron makes a move up. Denny Hamlin and Michael McDowell, nearly his teammate as well. Michael McDowell has possibly lost his chance if he doesn't make any passes soon. Oh, on the outside, Michael McDowell has lost more spots. He's down to fourth as they enter lap 15 with 11 to go. This is getting crazy as Hendrick in a 1-2 format. Could Byron win his first all-star race? Or will it be Chase Elliott winning another all-star race? Oh, Michael McDowell, a huge run as he makes it three wide for second, but he falls back to fourth after contact. Larson is still in fifth. Byron on the outside. He loses second to Denny Hamlin, but he passes back on the outside. As here they come into lap 16 with 10 to go. 10 left in this all-star race. It's all on the line right now as Kyle Larson makes a move up the inside. He's going to pass Cole Custer and Michael McDowell. Michael McDowell's chances have probably, probably gone down the drain right now. Kyle Larson back up to fifth. William Byron takes the lead of his first all-star race. William Byron leading his all-star race for the first time. Who will take it as here they come? They're in a lap 17 with nine to go. William Byron takes the lead as Cole Custer is trying to make a move on Denny Hamlin to get third. Because remember, the higher you are, the more points you get because this is still a normal points race. But leader gets 40 instead of 30. Michael McDowell is in fifth. Can't Michael McDowell get anything back as he gets a huge upset. He's nearly into Larson, but he luckily doesn't hit. Larson is here. They come in a lap 18 with eight to go. Byron with a huge gap ahead of his teammate of Chase Elliott. Michael McDowell gaining some time on Cole Custer and Denny Hamlin, and he makes the pass on Cole Custer. Oh, contact with the wall. William Byron, but he saves it. No debris on the track, no damage to Byron's car. Michael McDowell is still in fifth. Byron with a huge lead, but he gets a little bit slow as they enter lap 19 with seven to go. This is getting crazy. Byron holding the lead in his first ever all-star race. Will Byron do it? Michael McDowell up the inside of Cole Custer, making a pass for fourth. Can Cus can Michael McDowell get back his lead as they enter the back stretch of lap 19? This is getting intense. Here we go. Michael McDowell makes the pass, but Cole Custer shoves him back. As here they come. Byron leads us into lap 20 with six to go. Denny Hamlin makes a slide under Chase Elliott in a second. I think William Byron has his win sealed as he does in fact have a huge lead against Denny Hamlin. It's about a second lead though. <gasps> huge crash as Denny Hamlin goes around. Denny Hamlin will also have to go to the pack much like Will Ross Chastain because his crash made him skip half the pack. Caution on lap 20 with Six to go. We'll restart on 21 with four to go, or with five to go. This will get crazy, everyone. I am telling you. This will probably be the craziest all-star race you've ever seen. Denny Hamlin coming around back turn four to get back into the restart box after his accident. 
Denny Hamlin being the second caution of the race. As the green flag is back out as we enter lap 21. Willie Byer still in the lead. Mike McDowell trying to make a pass. Eric Coleman rolled to the last. Denny Hamlin making a ton of moves. But Joey Logano up the inside as we on the back as we come into the back stretch of lap 21. Rosh has staying in the second. He's gained a ton of spots. Joey Logano. He's up to first. Can Joey Logano win an all-star race today? As we enter lap 22 with with four to go. This is getting crazy. Joey Logano in the lead of the all-star race. But Matt DiBenedetto making a move up Byron and coming up to Blaney in that number six car for Roush Fenway Racing. Or no, that's Kozlowski. Kozlowski making a move in that six machine for Roush Fenway Racing. Who will take the all-star victory as Joey Logano leads lap 22 into lap 23 with three to go. Joey Logano still in the lead. Brad Kozlowski making another move on. Ryan Blaney is crashing. Goes Joey Logano. And the caution is going to come out on lap 23. Joey Logano will not go to the back, though, as he was in first when the caution happened. He did not gain any spots because he wrecked. This is getting crazy. We're going to restart on lap 24 with two to go. Into overtime, we'll go to lap 26. So we're restarting on 24 with three to go. As we come on to the lap 24 with three to go, Joey Logano taking the lead of his all-star race again by his teammate of Ryan Blaney with a huge run up the inside as Kirpish saves it going backwards. Brad Kislowski in that Roush Fenway number six machine takes the lead. Michael McDowell has lost all his spots in the last. Michael McDowell's chances are over. So here they come. We're going to enter lap 25 with two to go. Lap 25 with two to go. Kislowski has to hold it for two laps to win an all-star race tonight for tons of points. Here we go. They're making it four wide behind him. They're making it four wide behind. Here they come on to turns three and four in the, and they're going to be doing that into lap 26 for the final time. Lap 26, white flag is in the air for the all-star race. Ross Chastain is catching Brad Keselowski. Who will make the, who will make the all-star race? Chastain or, oh, Chastain making a move up the inside of Keselowski. But Keselowski blocks in that number six. It's getting crazy. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's probably going to be Kislowski in that number six machine. For Roush Fenway Racing, around they come, and it's Kislowski winning the 2023 All-Star Race. The 2023 All-Star Race was just won by Brad Kislowski. Brad Kislowski has won this race. That number six machine returns to victory lane with Kislowski behind the wheel, and it's an all-star race. Woo! I will see you all after this race. And I know we skipped Talladega for this, but trust me, this was actionful. Those cautions, people fighting for that lead. I loved it. I will see you all when I update your points.